Man, you gotta know who you are. You have to know who you are. Sometimes you have moments when you don't feel like you're in the place you need to be or you're struggling to get to um, a deeper concept of who you are and what it is that you're here for. And every now and then I'll start to think about the concept of how God created us. The Bible says that he took the dust of the ground. Just imagine this. God, a big God, taking his foot, he's taking a stomp, and dust coming up. And taking the dust of the ground and beginning to shape it. And as he shapes the dust of the ground, he makes a body of a man and he puts eyes, nose, holes, arms, legs, feet, toes. And he creates it with his hand. Mind you, with everything else, he spoke into existence. But man, he actually put his hands on it. Man, do you know who you are? He put his hands on his body and designed him in his own likeness and his own image. After he creates him with his hand, he takes this dust along with all the other elements that are along with the dust because air also has water, it's hydrated. So that's why partially most of our body is made up of water because it's dust and air. And he makes us and he creates us. And then he looks at us and he says, and it is good. I want to tell you today, no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're dealing with, and it is good. You're still good. There's still good in you. He doesn't stop there, but it says he takes his breath and he blows inside of the man and it says he breathes into him and he becomes a living soul the breath of god changes an inanimate object into a living soul you live because god's breath is inside of you and can i tell you something with his breath there's nothing you can't do god lives inside of you he lives inside of you. Don't be turned away. Don't be depressed. Don't be oppressed. Don't live in a bottle. But free yourself from the inside out because God put his hands on me. It's the movement. Come join the day.